Professor Black Ops, you see it. Let's get it. Google issue a new warning for 3 billion Chrome users. <laughs> That's a lot of users. Shout out to Chrome. They got a lot going on. Chrome is now used by over 3 billion users worldwide. By following the discovery of the browser's zero day exploit this year, everyone needs to update their browsers as a matter of priority. Zero day means your virus protection, your malware, and a lot of the most popular virus protection will not be able to catch a zero day. So that's why you need to upgrade, upgrade your browsers immediately. In a new blog, Google confirmed the discovery of a zero day vulnerability. It impacts Chrome on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Google confirmed that it's aware that the exploit exists in a while, meaning people or hackers are taking advantage of it. The vulnerability CV2023-2033 stems from a type of confusion in a V8. This occurs when a program uses a method to allocate or initialize a resource, but an incompatible method that access that resource potentially provides unsecure access to the browser memory, meaning the hacker can get to the browser memory. Sometimes there's passwords, PI and stuff in memory. So the vulnerability was discovered by Google's threat analysis group, but a patch couldn't be created before the first exploit of Chrome began. So that was cool. Google's internal team uh, called it. They have one of the best security teams on the planet. The good news is Google now has a patch. You need to update your Chrome uh, immediately to get it. To do, to do this, click the overflow menu bar, the three vertical dots in the browser top right. Then help about Google. This will force the Chrome to check for browsers. Updates, once the update is complete, you must restart browser to be fully protected. Google had done an incredible job uh, patching Chrome vulnerabilities this year. It's remarkable that we got to April before the first zero day was exploited occurred. To put this in perspective, Chrome had 15 zero days exploits in 2021 and nine in 2022. So there's progress. This progress also means feet because Chrome's dominance means this has by far the biggest target on the back of all the browsers since it's the most used browsers, right? Hackers are always trying to attack it. In fact, Google warned that it should expect the number of zero day attacks to continue to rise in March 2022. The company has been incredibly successful in stemming the tide. There are many reasons for that. Google's robust reporting system and payments of high bounties for vulnerabilities encourage security researchers to sell their discoveries to Google rather than hackers. For example, Google paid $12 million in bug bounties in 2022 including the single uh, record for bounty, 605000 for one critical exploit. That is a huge amount for one bug. But it was critical, and they deemed it must have been it's super dangerous, so they paid out $605,000. Wow. I might have to get in that red team life. <laughs> that said, now the first Chrome Zero Day of 2023 is here. There's no time to waste. Once again, <laughs> 605,000 for one critical bug. Also, uh, zero day, Google, new users for 3 billion Chrome users, right? 3 billion Chrome users for a zero day attack. Once again, update your browsers. Professor Black, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.